us, we are now joined by journalist Laurel Chor, who is joining us live from Hong Kong. Now, Laurel is an award-winning photographer and a journalist from Hong Kong. Laurel, now China has certainly passed this national security bill as far as Hong Kong is concerned, despite threats uh, from the Donald Trump administration about sanctions. Uh, but uh, we are just getting comments from the Chinese Prime Minister, who is still urging cooperation uh, with the U.S. on economy and trade. Yes. Uh, so, I mean, we're seeing the U.S. and China experiencing some of the worst uh, in their relations in several years. So this with Mike Pompeo declaring that Hong Kong is no longer autonomous, that has far reaching implications for their relations. Um, by removing, by declaring that Hong Kong is no longer autonomous, that means that the U.S. may remove Hong Kong's special trade status. This means that they might impose tariffs on goods from Hong Kong. They might uh, ban American companies from selling goods to Hong Kong companies. They might ban officials responsible for this law from entering America. It's still unclear what this means, but this will hurt Hong Kong's economy. Hong Kong and U.S. businesses in Hong Kong are worried about what this will mean for them. And of course, Hong Kong people will pay the price. What Donald Trump will actually do, we're not sure. Um, but as U.S.-China relations deteriorate, who knows? Right. So, um, you know, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo uh, told the Congress that uh, only the this is only the latest in a series of actions undermining Hong Kong's autonomy. That's what he said. And no reasonable person can assert today that Hong Kong maintains a high degree of autonomy from China. So uh, the question is, is China prepared for any certain sanctions that the U.S. may impose on Hong Kong? Of course, this move has been widely condemned by Chinese authorities. Um, China will probably face some sanctions. Again, it's unclear what exactly those sanctions will be. Perhaps the U.S. might use a piecemeal strategy and impose certain sanctions trying to see if China will improve the situation in Hong Kong before they go full out, or maybe they'll go full out entirely. Um, Donald Trump has commented very briefly on this. He did say he would respond very powerfully. It's still unclear what that means, but um, China will certainly not take it well. Right, so we are playing visuals uh, on our television screens for our viewers in which, uh, you know, we saw pro-democracy leaders being taken out, in fact, carried out of the Hong Kong's legislature as uh, the debate was raging on on uh, the National Anthem Bill. Um, China certainly uh, is not afraid to use strong arm, arm tactics, if, even if it is inside the legislature or outside, pepper bullets, uh, smoke grenades, water cannons, all have been used to silence these pro-democracy protesters. Yes, uh, the, the crackdown on Hong Kong protesters has been quite brutal over beginning from last year, from the middle of last year, and it's continued until yesterday, today, um, and the police have been changing their tactics. It seems like they might even be able to squash protests before they're even able to gain momentum on the streets. And especially with this national security law now approved as of a few hours ago, it's unclear how they'll use that law to further enforce the law and, and what that will mean for Hong Kong protesters. Maybe political groups will be banned altogether. Maybe instead of Hong Kong police cracking down on protesters, it'll be Chinese agents from their own security bureaus, from their own security agencies. It's, again, no one knows, no one's seen the bill. The details are still coming out. But people are very worried and it's not going to be a good thing for the democracy movement in Hong Kong. Absolutely. Just for our viewers, over 1,300 U.S. companies actually operate out of uh, Hong Kong, providing more than 100,000 jobs. Um, but that apart, Hong Kong has uh, garnered a lot of international support. Uh, what role is Taiwan playing in this uh, struggle of the pro-democracy protesters in Hong Kong? That's a good question. Taiwan's president has actually extended an offer to Hong Kong people. It's The details are not clear, but she basically said that Taiwan is willing to help people fleeing from Hong Kong to Taiwan. And, and in the past, there have been protesters who have fled arrest uh, going to Taiwan and essentially starting new lives there. Uh, Taiwan wants to be an independent country. It declares itself to be, but China says that Taiwan is part of their territory. So that creates a lot of diplomatic tension in the region and in, around the world. Um, 
Taiwan has the U.S.'s protection, and that's what's kept it safe so far. But the way things are going, there are questions of whether things might escalate, um, right. whether there will be military intervention. People are worried, for sure. Laurel, thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast as we continue to get our viewers all the updates uh, coming in from Hong Kong at the moment.